Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the advanced address book settings on the AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, I'll show how to create a system profile, apply the system profile to a domain, define the match criteria, assign the service to a user, remove the items we configured. We'll be starting this demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 Release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. I've just logged into the provisioning client and in order to configure the advanced address book for client services, we'll need to go into Services, Client Interface, Advanced Address Book. And this opens our advanced address book services portlet. From here, we're going to need to create a system profile so we can define our defaults. And in this case, I'm just going to call it uh, address book Kevin testing. And I'm going to set the maximum number of address book entries to 60. Now, uh, the address book only accepts certain values and the smallest is 20 and it goes up by tens, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, up to 150. And then uh, there's three large uh, values that you can use, so 250, 500, and 750. And those are the only valid values you can enter under the maximum number of address book entries. If you put in a wrong entry, it'll come back with a message listing those as the only values that are available. And then we just need to click on save. And we get a message back that the address book profile was saved successfully. And we can see it down here in the list. Address book Kevin testing. The next thing we need to do is assign this profile to a domain. So we click on assign and remove domain. And this will open up our portlet. And from here, we just select in the available domains list, the dsautosip1.com domain. Click on copy and then click on save. And we get a message that the domain list was saved successfully. Now let's set the match criteria number. And here we're just going to set it to three for a match. So three items matched and we click on save. We get a message that it was saved successfully. You could leave this at zero. If you have a very large address book, you might want to add uh, bump up the criteria so that less returns uh, from queries are, are returned to the client. And before we apply the profile to the user, we need to make sure that the user has rights to use this service. So we'll just do a search for our 1037 user. We'll just use the user search here in the top corner. And then we'll do user search. Once the user opens, we'll click on the services tab. And then advanced address book, we just check in the checkbox and then click on save. And we get a message, the user services were assigned successfully and we need to apply the profile. So we'll go back to our services, client interface, advanced address book. And then click on user data and we'll enter in the SIP 1037 user. Click on the view. When the screen refreshes, we can see that the user has no system profile applied. So we'll just click on the arrow, drop down arrow, and we'll add the address book Kevin testing and then click on save we get a message that the profile was saved successfully. And that concludes uh, configuring the advanced address book and you would apply it to any other users that need the address book. And now we'll show how to remove the settings. Now, first of all, we'll need to remove it, uh, the profile from any users. So we already have the user loaded here and we have the address book. Kevin testing is the profile and we just click on delete and that will remove it. And since it's service affecting, we'll have to enter in the admin password. Click on confirm. 
and we get a message that the profile was unassigned successfully. And now we'll set our match criteria back to zero. Go to the match criteria numbers tab and click on delete. It's also service affecting, so we need to put in the admin password. And click on confirm. And we get a message back that it was deleted successfully. The last thing is we'll go to system profile. And actually, before I delete this profile, I just want to show you the error message if you enter in a wrong uh, maximum number for the address book. And so we'll just click on address book uh, Kevin testing here. And I'll just change the uh, maximum number to an invalid number. We'll just put 61. And then we'll click on save. And this will generate our message for us. And then we get a message back from the system. And it lists out the various valid maximum numbers and uh, lastly, we'll need to we'll need to make this a valid number first, and then click on save. And we'll need to remove this from any domains first before we can delete it. So we'll click on Add Remove, and we just click on the selected domain, and then click on Remove, and finally click on Save. And we get a message that the domain list was removed successfully. And now we just want to delete our profile. Click on delete. And it's uh, service affecting, so we need to put in the admin password. And click confirm. And we get a message back from the system saying that the profile was deleted successfully. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.